Today we're going to show you how to do the drop stitch method. So to create this nice pattern, you're going to work in a two row sequence. And to start with, you will do a foundation row or a setup row, which is just knit stitch. But you can see that we've already got a few rows on our needles and it's actually time to change color. So we're going to tie our new color onto our working yarn. So to do this method, you're going to grab your new color and then wrap it around your needle like a normal knit stitch, but then you're going to wrap it around a second time and then slip that stitch off your left needle onto your right like you would a normal knit stitch. So we'll do that again. So slide your needle under the stitch on your left hand side, wrap your yarn around twice and then slip that stitch off your left needle onto your right. So we'll do it again. Wrap it around twice. And then slip it off. And then you'll continue to do the double wrap all the way to the end of the row. Alrighty, now it's time to do our second row in this pattern. So you can see that we've got two loops per stitch and what we're going to do is we're just going to knit the first loop. So we'll slide our needle under that stitch on the right hand side. And then wrap your yarn around once like a normal knit stitch and then slide both loops off your needle. And so it will feel a little bit loose, but that's how we get this nice drop stitch effect. So slip your needle under that first loop, knit it like normal, and then slide both loops off your needle. And so you'll see that that second loop drops and is quite loose. And we'll continue to knit the remaining stitches on our needles and dropping that second stitch until the end of our row. Once you've worked a few rows, you'll start to see the pattern emerging. So you can see here that we've got these extra long stitches and that is from our dropped stitch row. So if you flip your work over, you can really see this nice color work pattern. And now you know how to drop stitch.